Nigeria signing a deportation agreement with the United Kingdom. Uh, let's go back to lawyer and human rights activist Toyin Ndindi Taiwo Ojo. Thank you so much for speaking to us, Toyin. Now, as I was asking earlier on, um, just in terms of the deal, the agreement would see the UK increase the deportation of those considered dangerous criminals as part of uh, the British new immigration plan. But a, what would be considered dangerous, and would it just be criminals uh, that would be li um, liable for deportation? Yes. Um, from all we have um, learned from the news going around, we understand that most of um, these dangerous criminals that are being referred to are uh, probably those who have been involved in human trafficking. Um, a UK official had said that one of the um, reasons why they are entering into this agreement with Nigeria is so that these smugglers will come back to meet um, Law, um, the, meet, um, the, how will I say it now? Meet, with, um, with, will I say it as a uh, prosecution in the country? Okay. Let Let's talk about what British Home Secretary Preeti Patel has said, that this is a landmark agreement that would help take the fight to the criminal people smugglers to tackle illegal immigration, as you said. But do Nigerian nationals account for a significant number of crimes in the UK of this nature, as in just how huge are the numbers that we're looking at here? I didn't hear that question. Could you repeat yourself? How significant a number do these Nigerian criminals who are involved in uh, illegal people smuggling, how many of them account for this, these incidents in the United Kingdom particularly? Do we know? No, um, I will not um, be able to give you that statistic. So that um, this is a crime, especially between um, Nigeria and the UK. We have a lot of um, people involved in this human trafficking. But um, the statistics is what I may not be able to give you uh, based on the fact that um, we have a very poor um, database here in Nigeria. But I can tell you that the number is huge. Okay, that's that's what I wanted to find out if it's if it's a significant number. But um, maybe let's just give the line one more try. How similar is this deal to the one that the UK has signed with Rwanda? I think it's um, a bit different because um, the one of Rwanda has to do asylum seekers and is not um, specific to the Rwandan citizens alone. I, I think that um, it has to do with others um, asylum seekers from other parts of the country and the UK is coming into agreement with Rwanda to um, you know, um, send them to Rwanda as um, part of the agreement they have with the Rwandan government. But that of Nigeria is specifically for Nigerian, um, for criminals and uh, immigrants, illegal immigrants with Nigeria. Right, we're going to have to, I'm afraid, leave it there. Speaking to us uh, is... Uh, Human rights activist and lawyer that is Troyin Ndidi Taiwo Ojo.